Hey y'all, today I'm gonna be sharing a Costco grocery haul. I'm still fairly new to Costco. We got our membership at the end of last year. So I've only been less than a handful of times. It's a little bit over an hour drive for us, just one way. So this is definitely like a once a month type of thing. And I did not go in there with any sort of meal plan or grocery list. I only had like one meal planned, which I got a few things for, but everything else is just kind of random. If I saw it and liked it, I got it pretty much. So I did end up spending $440.13. So let's go over here and get started. Okay, so starting off with drinks. This one caught my eye, this Dole's Pineapple Juice. I have only ever seen like the small mini cans of this when I saw this size and this many in one pack. I had to have it. We absolutely love this pineapple juice. I also picked up this six pack, which this is six gallons of water. Um, I like to buy these because I like to add like drink mixes to it to make kind of like Kool-Aid to just set in the fridge. It's also easy to fill up our water cups with this versus like, you know, a million different water bottles. Under that, I picked up a big pack of Gatorade Zero. This is the one that has a grape, orange, and Glacier Freeze. We also really love Propel, and Costco has the best like price on it by far. And this has the berry, kiwi, strawberry, and the grape. Moving over here, this is my first time buying the Just Bear Chicken Nuggets. I have heard a lot of good things about these. I've heard that they are comparable to Chick-fil-A Nuggets. So my kids love the Chick-fil-A Nuggets, so I'm hoping they are somewhat similar. So they are excited about that. Under that, I picked up a big box of Cheez-Its. This is the little individual bags. It's got 45 bags in it. And under that, we picked up a 45 count of the goldfish and this has the goldfish colors the flavor blasted pretzel and the vanilla cupcake so all of that will be perfect for the kids lunch boxes i've also seen a lot of people talking about these strawberry yogurt covered pretzels i thought that those looked really good sounded really good and it will be great in everybody's lunch boxes i'm looking forward to trying those also Josh found this big old jar of mayo for a good price, and we do go through quite a bit of mayo. Um, Hellman's used to be all that we ever bought, and then we discovered Duke's, which is now our favorite. Um, we like both of them. There was a time last year where Hellman's tasted really off to me, so I stopped buying it for a long time, but we've recently started liking that again, so we'll be stocked up on mayo for a while. I also always like to keep avocados in the house. I love making, you know, avocado toast with an egg um, or guacamole. I also picked up a, I think this is two pounds of strawberries. The Driscoll's ones are always so good. So I was glad to see that and these look really good. Under that, this is something that I have never seen before in stores. These are the Dole Mango Cups. I don't know that my kids have ever tried mango, to be honest. So I'm really hoping that they will like those. Again, it'll be perfect for their lunch boxes. This big old pack of croissants was really calling my name. I love like bakery croissants and this is like a big pack of them. And again, I think these will be perfect for lunches. I'm thinking, you know, just some like deli sandwiches with cheese, also some chicken salad. And I also really wanna make some like breakfast croissants with like eggs and bacon and cheese with these. This is something that I have never purchased before. I don't believe I've ever had it before. This is the I'm not really sure how to say it. I think it's blue agave. Um, it's just some type of sweetener. I really don't know much about it. Um, I was going to buy some maple syrup. I like to like sweeten my oatmeal with it. And of course, you know, there's other recipes I could use it for, but I just want to give this a try. Um, let me know in the comments what all y'all use that in. Cause other than oatmeal, I'm really not sure <laughs> what I'm going to do with it. Back here is a few non-food items. The first time I went to Costco, I tried out their moisture shampoo and conditioner and I love it. It's great for all of our hair. So I am to the bottom of those bottles and I'm just restocking on that. I also just picked up a little bottle of allergy medicine. I just figured that would be a good thing to keep in the medicine cabinet. 
I'm really excited about this. I love the Scrub Daddy sponges, and this comes in an eight pack. I turned the light off, hang on. Yeah, so that comes in an eight pack, all different colors. I really like doing dishes with those and just your everyday cleaning, they are perfect. And then underneath that, it's heavy. I picked up this three pack of the Olay body wash. I love Olay or Dove when it comes to body wash. We were completely out of pizza rolls and these are a staple in our house. Josh and the kids absolutely love these, especially in the air fryer. I have never been like super crazy about these, but every now and then they are pretty good. So I just got the pepperoni one and this is definitely the best price on these that I've ever came across, especially for that many. Underneath that, Josh has been on a huge cereal kick for the last couple of months. So he grabbed this, it has three bags in it. I'm not really sure how they stacked it in there, but um, it's got Fruit Loops, Cocoa Pebbles, and Apple Jacks in there. My son is also a big cereal lover. So we're stocked up on cereal for a while. Probably my favorite purchases of the day is these seasonings. I love buying new seasonings. So this one I'm super excited about. This is the Kinder's The Blend seasoning. I have never bought this before. I've never tried it, but I have heard nothing but good things. I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I also recently ran out of dried parsley. So I figured I would just buy like the big container of it. Onion and garlic powder is two things that I go through the quickest. So I don't believe I've ever bought it in bulk. So hopefully these will last me quite a while. So I just got some onion powder, garlic powder. And then if you watch my videos, you already know this Laurie's garlic salt is probably my number one favorite seasoning. I can use this on anything and everything. So I was really happy to buy it in this big old container. My son is going through like a growth spurt and he goes through loaves of bread so quick. I can't keep it. So I picked up this two pack of the Sara Lee bread. I have been aiming to start making homemade bread, but I just keep on putting it off and it's not happened yet. I still want to do that very soon, but for now we're going to go with this one. This is not the bread that I normally buy. I normally buy the Heiner's bread, but they didn't have that. I have bought this, I know, at least once before, and it is really good. It is higher calorie, but I mean, oh well, it's really good bread. Um, I also saw this like sharp cheddar cheese slices that caught my eye. We really like this type of cheese for like sandwiches. So this is a lot. This is 44 slices. So I'm probably definitely going to have to like freeze half or something like that. And then if y'all are on TikTok, I'm sure y'all have seen where everyone is eating like chicken sausages. I think it's this particular one. I'm not 100% sure. This is the apple Gouda one. I've had something similar from Walmart once before and I wasn't too sure about how I would like it until I tried it and I ended up really liking it. It's been a while though, so I'm excited just for like quick lunches. Maybe I'll do a dinner with it. I don't know. Just cook them in the air fryer. So for that dinner that I was talking about, I'm gonna make like a, it's called a chicken tortellini Alfredo soup. So it calls for broccoli. I'm pretty sure this was the only option. So I'll use some of that for that recipe. And I'm sure I'll use the other uh, for something else. I don't know. I love broccoli. Um, I also picked up this container of shredded Parmesan cheese. I'll need that for that recipe as well. This lid's coming off. Josh and Riley really like beef jerky, so we picked up these beef jerky with cheese packs. Again, perfect for as a quick snack. Lunch boxes, it comes with 10 packs. I picked up this two pack of Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce. This is my favorite barbecue sauce. I like pretty much all of the flavors of it, and we were really low on it. It's not something that we go through super quick or anything, so this will definitely last us a long time. Behind that, I picked up this big old box of some chicken stock. I will need some of that for that soup recipe that I was talking about. And then we were completely out of hot sauce. So I love the Frank's hot sauce. I picked up a two pack. A couple more non-food items. Josh picked this out. He was with me. He loves these air fresheners. These do have the little scratch and sniffs on the side and they do smell really good. So 
It's a nice big old value pack of it. We also fly through the toothpaste here, so I was really glad to see a five pack, so I don't have to buy that for a while. It's just the Crest. I don't know the scent. Yeah, just your basic toothpaste. I also picked up this package of canned chicken. We don't have any left in the pantry. Um, this is something that I don't use that often, but it's something that I just like to have for backup or whatever. So six cans of that. I also picked up their famous rotisserie chicken. That's gonna be for the chicken Alfredo soup. And then I was pretty excited about this find as well. This is your fresh cheese ravioli. I was gonna save this for St. Patrick's Day, which I could probably save half of it. I did not see any refrigerated tortellini for that soup. I was gonna buy tortellini and this. Like I said, I was gonna save this for March. Um, but yeah, I didn't see any of the refrigerated tortellini. So I think that I'm just going to use this in the soup. But I just think that's cool. I just loved themed anything. And now for the last couple non-food items. I did pick up this big pack of basically the Costco brand of Tide Pods. For the last year or so, I've been using like the Tide Powder. But I ran out last week and I had to run to the dollar store and I picked up some Tide Pods. I've had them before, but it's been a long time. That was the first time I've had them in a while. And I really liked them. I thought it was a lot more of a stronger scent. So... That's why I wanted to reach for these this time, see how we like them. And then the last item is this big old pack of toilet paper. So that is everything that I picked up at Costco today. It definitely does not take long to ring up that bill, but I'm really happy with everything that I got today. And I really have been loving Costco for the little bit of time that I've had it. So definitely let me know down in the comments if you do shop at Costco, some of your favorite like must have items. I would love to hear that and try y'all's recommendations. So that is all I got for y'all today. I do hope that you enjoyed this video. I want to thank y'all so much for watching and I will see y'all in my next video.